Hi everybody, my, my name is David and I'm very glad to be here to present you B Solar. As you may know, a couple of months ago, Switzerland voted yes to the Energy Strategy 2050, whose goal is, uh, among others, to drastically increase the electric production from photovoltaic panels. Yet, if we look at the, the current situation, we notice that only 2% of residential buildings and villas are actually covered with such panels. And if we only take residential buildings, that number drops down to below 1%. That is a huge waste, especially since residential buildings present a double advantage. On one hand, they have a big overall consumption, which means that most of the solar electricity will be consumed on-site, which is not the case typically for individual villas. And as, we, as I will explain to you later, self-consumption is very interesting. And on the other hand, they have small end consumers who pay a higher price for the electricity than industrial buildings or commercial buildings. Actually, even the Federal Office of Energy identified this huge potential, but also observed that the administrative aspects are complicated and block the development of this potential. And this is exactly where we come. Yep. So we want to help the, the owner to install PV panels on, on his building. How does it work? It's pretty straightforward. Um, thanks to an investment of the owner, we install PV panels on his building. Then we sell the electricity and can reimburse the, the owner with a certain return on investment. That is pretty simple. But now let's dig a little bit into the details. So concretely what we do is we free the owner of two of the key tasks in the process mainly setting up the system and selling the, sol the solar electricity. To set up the system, once again, we create partnerships with PV suppliers. So far we've been collaborating with Elion Solar, who is the leader in the Swiss market, and the idea is that such partnerships will guarantee us a certain quality and the best prices. And then we analyze the, the buildings of a given owner uh, we run a thorough analysis, so yeah, you have to know that there are many parameters that enter into account uh, in the calculation of the viability and the profitability of an installation of PV panels on a given building. Uh, and so we dig into all these data and can then select the, the different buildings that are worth being covered with PV panels. And the last step is to create what is called the self-consumption community which is the legal mean to actually be able to sell the electricity directly to the tenants in the building, therefore uh, achieving a high, high rate of self-consumption. And then, once the system is set up, the PV supplier simply uh, installs the panels on the building, and so when this is done, we have to sell the electricity. So, how does it work? You have the PV panels producing green electricity, most of which will be consumed directly by the tenants, and this, the rest will be fed back into the grid. And still, part of the consumption from the building will come from the grid, typically during the night when there is no sun out there. As a manager of the self-consumption community, B Solar, acts, uh, are, are, sorry, B -Solar is in charge of these three transactions. And we can thus act at these three levels to valorize the electric sales. So, Concretely, what we offer is what we call the solar investment to the owner. That solar investment is green, obviously. It is accessible, so you don't need to worry about the technical and the administrative details. You just invest. It is profitable. It is local. And it is traceable. So you can follow at any time your exact production of solar electricity and your exact sales of solar electricity. But of course, what you guys want to know here is how to make it profitable. Well, as I told you before, we rely on self-consumption. Why? Because in Switzerland, as long as the solar electricity is consumed within the building where it is produced, taxes and grid costs don't apply, which allows us to sell the electricity directly to the tenants at a price that is slightly below the usual electric bill, but much higher than what we get if we sell it into the grid. So let's sum it up a little bit. We have two main actors in our system. First, the owner who invests and provides access to his rooftops. 
he gets a profitable return on investment, he gets compliance to environmental policies for his buildings, and he participates in the energy transition. Second, you have the tenant who consumes and buys the solar electricity. He gets green and local electricity, which is also cheaper, and of course, he also participates in the energy transition. For the owner, we will focus on real estate investment funds because they have many residential buildings and capital to invest. We've been talking to uh, several of them so far and they've shown interest in the project and in the future uh, we want to reach for the big actors such as UBS or Swiss Life. So our sole investment is kind of at the verge of two markets the PV panels market and the sustainable investment market, both of which have grown drastically in the recent years. And our goal here is to unlock an important part of the demand by decreasing both the investment costs and barriers. Let's now take a look at the residential building market. So here, if we take only the buildings that contain 10 or more apartments, thus achieving a, a high enough rate of self-consumption, we see that there are 75,000 of them in Switzerland. Most of them located in Zurich, Canton de Vaud, and Geneva. And out of these 75,000, 1,600 were actually newly built in 2015. Now, you want to know exactly what we offer. So, I've been talking a lot, but now, concretely, what can we achieve with such an investment? Well, we've taken the example of the UBS real estate, which is available online. So we analyzed all of the buildings located in Canton de Vaux and Geneva. Uh, individually, every building, the orientation of the rooftop, the number of apartments, all of this, uh, to, to be able to come up with a result uh, saying that, okay, we would be able to cover 155 of the buildings in that area. Uh, and such a huge project would produce 6.5 gigawatt hours annually which is more than twice as much as the biggest solar farm in Switzerland. Such a project will represent an initial investment of around 9.4 million Swiss francs and give a very interesting return, uh, internal rate of return sorry, of 18.6%. Now for the next steps. Uh, we're currently finalizing our business case, uh, a proper business case to be able to present it first to the state since our project presents uh, both an environmental and social benefit, uh, it might uh, be of interest for the state to, to support us. Then we'll present that business case to an early adopter. Uh, for the moment, we're thinking about Rolex uh, in Geneva because, well, they own many buildings in Geneva. We have contacts there and they have a foundation who invests in philanthropic activities. Then uh, the goal is to realize a pilot project with that early adopter. And then, uh, like, yeah, the, the idea behind the pilot project is to really prove the model to be able then to approach our first clients with the results of the pilot project and the business case. For that, we're actually uh, currently seeking for half a million Swiss francs, mostly for legal expenditures, personal expenditures, and the pilot project, of course. Alexis and I have, uh, so my co-founder Alexis, who is right there in the, in the room, uh, have been studying together. So we did our bachelor uh, at DPFL in environmental engineering and then came here in Zurich for uh, our master at ETH in sustainable energy use. Then we're helped by a team of experts, um, namely Julien for law and ju jurisdiction, Christophe for finance and investments, and André from Elion Solar for the PV panels. I thank you for the attention and will now invite my co-founder uh, Alexis to the stage and we will be happy to answer your questions. So, right off the bat, we have an inspiring uh, group of young guys who are coming from the university system here, doing something that's particularly Swiss. Uh, do we have a few questions for them or any feedback, advice? Eric. Thank you for your uh, presentation. I have just one question. Maybe I, I get kind of lost in translation, but how do you make money? That's a really interesting question. So, <laughs> we are 
it is obviously an interesting question. Um, so we are kind of an investment manager. So we'll take uh, a small fee on the initial investment. And then, more interestingly, we will take um, uh, part of the annual electric sales, which means that our interests are aligned with those of the investor, uh, the, the owner that, that invests. And so he has kind of the guarantee that we won't just put up the panels up there and then say, OK, our job is done here. We don't care about the panels anymore because we have an incentive to increase uh, the, the electric sales every year to, to sell the electricity at the best prices because the higher uh, money we make every year from these sales, the more money it is also for us. Uh, second question, Harold. Thanks for your presentation. Um, what, do you have any piece of technology or are you just connecting the partners here in the whole system? Or Because you're, when you were talking about how feeding it back into the grid and then to the tenants, and so, is, there, is there a piece of proprietary tech that you are using for that? So there's no direct technology involved with this. We have like a strong uh, analysis of the buildings beforehand to know if they offer a great uh, return on investment that we've been working on a bit more than a year now in, in a master thesis, uh, thesis here at ETH. And further on, there are op opportunities with, uh, for example, uh, smart meters that we can then implement, but this is more music for the future. We try first to come with a pretty simple and basic solution once the panels are uh, installed, to prove the model, to show that it works, and then start to optimize it, so, sort, of say, sort of say. Follow up. You had this example of the internal rate of return of 18.6% for this project, if you, if you did this. Is that for, uh, what would that be after your, after your fee that you're taking? So I assume that's for the... That's for the uh, property fund, mm -hmm. right? So for the moment, we are uh, it's still something in discussion. Well, we are still early stage, so it's not set in stone. But uh, we are aiming at a 2% uh, on the initial investment and then a 10% on the annual electric revenues. Yeah, yeah that would make the, the internal rate of return um, uh, fall to 16 or 15% for the, the, the owner. Yeah. But then... This, this is still uh, open since now what we're looking at is, is making very viable and profitable projects and then we can always adapt, okay, how much we take is not the most important part here at, at that stage of the project. Andreas. Um, how independent is your system? So is it, is it, I'm not quite sure, is it, is it in a, you know, a system which, which works uh, within, a, within a building of, of 10 participants or 10... Or is it is it really independent? You, you feed it back into the, the electrical system, or, or is it? So it's it's kind of a mix. Um, so you have the the self-consumption community, which is made of the tenants. So they will consume most of the electricity, but with PV panels, since it's uh, you cannot store it the, the the electricity. Well, typically during during the summer in July when there's a lot of sun, then uh, there's too much production. For, for the consumption of the building. Uh, even in big buildings of 20 uh, apartments, that happens. So you have, yeah, at the end of the year, you have maybe five or 10% of the electricity that has to be fed into the grid, that has been fed into the grid. And so, but that, that is uh, technically uh, already in place, like it, it, it is what, what is already done in the, in the field. So you have PV panels, what can be consumed on site is consumed on site, and then the rest is fed into the grid. And the Swiss law says that the local um, uh, utility has the obligation to buy back the electricity that you feed as a, as a producer of electricity that you feed back into the grid at the market price, which is almost nothing. So this is also where we come uh, in, in action. We will, like, um, how do you say, optimize the, the sale not only from the, the, for the part that is consumed on site, but also for the part that is fed back into the grid. And, and there's a lot to be, to be done here. And just a quick follow-up question: How dependent or independent are you from the market price, electricity price? Yeah. So that's a good question. What we uh, want to do is to index the so the price at which we sell to the to the tenants, which is the, the interesting part. Um, the goal is to be every year uh, half a cent um, uh, cheaper, so that there's an incentive also for the tenants, but to index ourselves. So. Uh, all the experts are, are uh, predicting um, uh, an increase in the electric price uh, in the in the mid-term, long-term. 
so we can also enjoy from that, uh, from that uh, growth. But of course, that also represents a risk. Like, what if, what if the, the electric, uh, electric price drops down? And so this is linked to, the, to our um, internal rate of return. It is linked to the electric price scenario over the next 25 years. Um, here we, we showed just uh, the result for the middle scenario and we built like worst case scenario, awful case scenario, and it, it drops from 3%, so it's still very uh, attractive. But still, it, it is kind of the risk in the, in the investment, in, in the investment, sorry, which is a controlled one, but, yeah. I have to be a bit careful about time. Francois, did you have a question? So, uh, we both met during our studies in environmental engineering in EPFL, and finished our studies as a master here in Zurich, in, uh, also in environmental sciences, and we specialized ourselves in sustainable energy use. So with all the energy markets and, and photovoltaic technology and stuff like that. And a quick question, yeah, Stefan. Mm -hmm. So um, basically, we're uh, seeing ourselves as a uh, seller of electricity. We, we build projects out there, and then we need to find the best way to sell the electricity. And then there are many ways to, to, um, to valorize that electricity. Um, typically, so like P2P would be one solution, but there are, there are others. Like, for example, nowadays, the, the um, uh, market, the electric market in Switzerland is open for uh, big consumers. That, that consume more than uh, 100,000 kilowatt hours per, uh, per year. And on the very big buildings, I think it's 20 or 25 apartments minimum, uh, then we reach that, that threshold and uh, we, can, we can thus uh, also sell and, and, and get the, the gray electricity directly on the free market. So, so there are many ways to, um, there are many options to valorize the electricity. And what we, what we say here is, okay, we, will, we are experts in that, so we will really valorize the electricity, which is most of the time not done uh, when, when somebody installs PV panels on his rooftop. So a guy that does that will just install the panels and then look at, okay, well, my electric utility is offering me to buy back my solar electricity during 25 years. I don't have to care about anything. Great. But then what he doesn't know if, is he would get much more if you would like dig a bit into what actually can I like at what price actually can I can I sell the, the electricity? 